Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Joppy Noodle Legs here today with Sullivan. There he is. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I'm here with another horror top 10 today. Uh, today I'm doing my top 10 favourite foreign horror films. Now, I don't know if that's a politically correct word for it anymore. To be honest, I've sort of lost track of what's politically correct now and what isn't. But when I used to buy movies and go to the HMV tower records or um virgin they used to have foreign movie sections and they were always in there now so what that basically means is are not necessarily all different language but they're made from different sort of countries that are not sort of like my country you know british uk but i've also excluded sort of like american films just because i've covered them so much so these are from sort of ones that don't get so much of a sort of shout out about horror films uh you might have noticed one crazy thing about all my top tens and my horror videos i've had no asian films in there now i'm not a huge fan of asian horror films now i do like asian cinema i like a lot of sort of kung fu and sort of samurai movies um but i'm not a huge fan of the horror genre just because i find them very very samey um, things like The Grudge, Ring, um, Dark Waters, they're all kind of similar and they're all kind of ghost stories and I, I find them too repetitive to sort of like really get into. Uh, I'm not saying they're bad films because I do like them and I will watch them but I don't own many of them uh, because it's just not my sort of thing uh, which is you're probably thinking what they're, they're brilliant yeah, yeah they are they've got some great jump scare movies but it's just not my thing. Now, I do have a couple of honourable mentions of some um, Asian cinema. Uh, the first one is this one. The Happiness of Katakuris, which is a crazy, crazy film. Okay, It's about like this family that own this sort of hotel inn in the middle of a beautiful countryside. And all their guests start getting killed off. And it's actually a sort of horror comedy musical. It's so strange, I think this deserves a video of its own. So I'm going to be doing a review video of this. I've got a few review videos coming out. I'm going to be doing one on this and, and a couple of other movies. So keep your eyes peeled for them. Because I think some of these films are so um, different that they deserve, and they're so good that they need that sort of a review. Um, so I'm going to be getting some reviews out soon, and I'll include that one with it. Another one, which is kind of a horror film, but it sort of goes on the lines of more of a samurai film. And this is Shogun Assassin. Uh, this is a fantastic movie. This is a part of the uh, um, the Baby Cart stories. This is like a compilation of... The, they made a series of Baby Cart um, stories and um, films. And this sort of combines a lot of those films together to one sort of film. And it got like a, a release called Shogun Assassin. This was banned in the UK and everywhere for a long time. Um, but yeah, they're my Asian honourable mentions, as you can see. And they're not really that horror sort of film. Um, so we're going to go on with three more honourable mentions that didn't make the top ten. Uh, Deep Red, uh, Italian film, fantastic. Really, really great film. I really love this film. It's a, a, a giallo story, so it's a really, really cool film. And as you probably know, Argento is well known for these sort of giallo horror films and i've talked about it before so i'm not explaining a lot of these um another honorable mention is um stage fright again i spoke about it before fantastic film based in a, a theater where the theater car start getting bumped off by this killer and it's really really cool really good I, I i really love this film really really good one i've not really talked about before it's a german film um and that's dead snow I will include it in my zombie films. This is sort of a comedy zombie film about sort of zombie Nazis, obviously. Uh, yeah, there's been quite a few zombie Nazi films, to be honest. Uh, this is quite good. It's quite funny. Bad guys, they, they go on a skiing trip uh, and they come across these uh, zombie Nazis. It's quite a good film, actually. Right, so they're my honourable mentions. So we're going to get to the top ten. Number ten... It is a classic that I've spoken about many a time, and that's the Beyond. Of course, as I told you, this is like a, 
about a house that's got sort of like a dark deep history in it uh, from the Gates of Hell trilogy and it's like got zombies it's got a bit of everything in it really a bit of hauntings it's quite gory on the video nasty list it's a really good film another video nasty number nine and it's another Argento film and that's Tenebrae another one of his um, Giallo films but I think this is the better of the of um, I prefer this over Deep Red I think it's got a bit more of a, a sort of horror element story to it and I really, really enjoy Tenebrae. It's about a book that this guy's written in. Someone's copying like the killings from the book. Really, really good film. Really cool. Right, number eight. It's a Canadian film. Obviously, that was in... They were both Italian films. This is a Canadian film, and it's The Brood. Uh, this is a uh, David Cronenberg film. Absolutely love this film. Really creepy, atmospheric film. I'm not going to give the plot away. It's quite a mixed-up um, plot. It stars Oliver Reed in this. It's a really, really cool film if you've never seen The Brood. It's a 1970s Canadian film. Number seven is a Spanish film, um, which is really cool. And this is called Dot Wreck 2. Okay. Now, there's, they've made about three or four of these. But I love this. This is a Spanish one. And it's about a virus, uh, sort of like in, in like a... In, in in Spain and it, it sort of resembles like the British 28 days later sort of thing it's about a virus not a zombie film it's about a virus but Dot Rec 2 is in there at number 7 number 6 is a French film it's a brutal film and it's very disturbing and that's Martyrs it, it, it is a revenge kidnapping film it's very very brutal very strange ending um, but it's a really amazing film I I really recommend you watching it if you can stomach the brutality in the film. So we get into my top five. Number five is another uh, Canadian film by David Cronenberg and that's Shivers. Uh, it's about this parasite that um, sort of gets into these people that live in this. It's like a it, it's like a tower block sort of a residential place where but it's got everything built in like the shops and swimming pool and everything so people can just pretty much live in there and they all get this sort of parasite which turns them into sexually crazed maniacs and they crave sex and flesh it's quite a gory film it is 1970 so it is of its time this version is a fantastic print of it really love david cronenberg films they're all quite similar but they're all brilliant so shivers is in at my number five number four is another spanish film it's the first one and it's dot wreck and again like i told you before it's about this uh virus that's been that people catch and turns them into sort of a zombie like state um this one's based in like it's a found found footage film this girl goes with a fire crew to this building um and the building then gets isolated because the virus is in there and there's people trapped and some of them turn into these crazed killers. It's a really, really good, scary film. If you've never seen Dot Wreck, really get it. The second and third is really, the, the, the first and second are brilliant. Third is, yeah, it's a bit of, it's based at a wedding. And the fourth one is not too bad, but the first two are the, are the best. They're fantastic. Number three we're back to Canada again with David Cronenberg and it's rabid. This one is fantastic. It's, I think that's give away what it's about. It's about rabies. Um, it's kind of similar to um, George Romero's uh, The Crazies. It's that kind of sort of thing. It's, it's, it's a fantastic film. It's quite gory for the time. Again, it's a 1970s film. And again, this print is fantastic. Rabid, if you've never seen it. So we're going to the top two. I've mentioned these two films so many times because they're fantastic. Number two is a Norwegian film, and that's Troll Hunter. Brilliant film. It, yes, it's, it's, it's more of a sort of comedy horror, if you like, but it's more of a monster flick, but it's fantastic. It's about these, uh, these student filmmakers following this guy who's a troll hunter, and they come across some amazing trolls. Um, and it's a brilliant, brilliant film. Please watch this. And now, number one, which is my favourite foreign film, and one of my favourite films of all time. It's my favourite vampire film. It's from Sweden, and it's 
let the right one in there was an american remake called let me in nowhere near as good as this this is haunting it's beautiful the soundtrack is amazing the the the, the, the two young uh kids that play the parts are amazing really really cool it's such a convincing story it's a little bit of a revenge movie the little boy he, he leaves being bullied at school and obviously the vampire moves in next door they become good close friends and she sort of helps him out <laughs> it's a really really cool film please watch let the right one in not let me in let the right one in the swedish film fantastic well there you go guys that's my top 10 favorite foreign movies what what are yours have i left have i, have I left any out that you'd like should think they've been in there but if you do put it down below anyway guys till next time look after yourselves Look after one another and I really hope I see you all soon.